Hello friends, my name is Shorak Banguli and today I am going to discuss about character set, keywords, constant, variables, data types of C language. Please visit my YouTube channel for detail. Throughout this tutorial, I will discuss about character set of C language, then keywords, then constant, then variables and then data types of C language. Now come to the first one that is what is character set of C language. It is an example of character sets. When you are going to type some C program, then you have to use your keyboard of your computer. C compiler support these alphabets, these digits and these special symbols. You require these whole things at the time of writing any C program. Now come to the next point that what is keywords of C language? Sometimes we call these keywords as reserved word. What does it mean? It means that these words have its own specific meaning to the compiler. And at the time of writing any program, this word will tell the compiler that what we want to do. This void, int, float, character, short, long, all are the keywords. In later section, we will see that in float character are some kind of data types which tell the compiler that what type of value we want to store and use. You may use this keyword at the time of writing any C program and each word has its own meaning. You can't use them for other purpose except their own purpose. Now come to the next point that what is constant of C language. At first, look at this example. I think it is clear that what is the constant. Constant means which value is fixed and will not change throughout the program. It is called constant. Integer constant it is 45. We know the value of 45 is 45. So 45 is an integer constant. If no sign is present here, then we will assume that it is plus 45. That same manner, minus 80 plus 211 is all the integer constants. Now come to the real constant. Real constant has two types. First one is normal case. Second one is exponential case. Normal case means it will contain a decimal point and no e. 45.12 is a float value or we can call it as a real constant. Minus 80.12 plus 211.12 all are the real constant. If no sign is present here, then we will assume that it is plus. In the next case, when we express the real constant in exponential form, then a e will present here. That means minus 0 0.5 e plus 4. It is a real constant of the type exponential. If no sign is present, then we will assume that it is plus. Then come to the next point, that is character constant. The example is self-explanatory. One letter, one digit, one number, one sign is everything is character constant. Remember one thing that you have to use the single quote when you denote this character constant. Now come here that the rule when we constructing any constants. For the integer constant, the rule is this. The integer constant must contain at least one digit no decimal point, may be positive or negative, no sign means positive, comma and blanks must not present in an integer constant. That means you cannot write 4 space 5. You have to write 4, 5 continuously without any space. Then come to the real constant normal case. The rule more or less same must contain at least one digit or contain decimal point, may be positive negative, no sign means positive comma and blank must not present in an integer constant. That means you cannot write 45 point space 1 2. You have to write 45 point 1 2. Now come to the exponential case. Montessa and exponential separated by a letter E. That means 1.4 is a Montessa and 5 is a exponential separated with a letter E. The Montessa may be positive or negative. That means 1.4 may be positive or may be negative. No signs mean positive. Here no signs mean it is plus 
E5. The exponent must contain at least one digit, that is 5, or 4, or anything, or minus 4, anything. No signs means positive. That's why if no sign is present, that is 5, we will assume that it is plus 5. Now come to the characters constant. Must contain at least one single alphabet, that is D, D, 5, or equal to, or anything, but it must be one alphabet. Or any special symbol within single inverted comma. Maximum length is one character. That means we cannot write a show up in a single inverted comma. We have to write S in a single inverted comma or D in a single inverted comma. Now come to the next point that variables of C language. What is variable? Variable will hold the constant value to execute any program. That means here A is a variable, A is a variable, A is a variable. In the first case, A is a variable of the type integer. So A can hold a constant value of the type integer. No decimal point is present here. In the next case, A is the type float. That means it can hold a value with decimal point. Here, A holds the value 3.33. In the next case, A is a variable of the type character and can hold a letter under single inverted comma. It may be 3, may be A, may be B, may be equal to sign anything. Now come to the rules for constructing variables. First thing is that integer variables. Variable must start with alphabet or underscore. That means you may use it A or underscore A. Do not use comma or blanks in a variable name. That means you cannot write A space A here. You have to write A A or single A or A B. But A space B will not support by the compiler. Do not use any special symbol in a variable name except underscore. That means you cannot write here a star A as a variable because it has its own meaning. But you may use int, then put a space, then underscore, then A. It is better to use short variable name for C compiler less than 31 character. But I personally recommend you that you must use a variable name less than 10 character long. Now come to the next case that is float variables. The rules more or less same. Variable name must start with alphabet or underscore. Do not use comma or blanks in a variable name. Do not use any special symbol in a variable name except underscore. You cannot write A star here because it has its own meaning or it is illegal. So you cannot use it here. It is better to use short variable names for C compiler. Now come to the character variables. Variable must start with alphabet or underscore. Do not use comma or blanks in a variable name. Do not use any special symbol in a variable name except underscore. It is better to use short variable name for C compiler. Now come here. That's what is data types of C language. It is very important portion when you write any program. We already discussed that A and B are the variables of the type integer. So it can hold any integer value in the same way A and B is the type float. So it can hold any number that contain the decimal point and character A, B can hold the any value of the type character. That means any letter present between single inverted comma. Now, when we write any program, then printf and scanf are two functions. Printf always display something to the screen and scanf take inputs from the user directly. Now, if I want to display any value on the screen, then we have to use the variables with the type percent %d for integer. This integer float and character are called the data types. Now, in the case of scanf, if I want to take any integer value from the user, then I have to use a variable name with ampersand sign and this percent %d will tell the compiler that the value is type is integer. In the same thing happened for the float, percent %f means float. That means here a and b will display the floating value. So I use here percent %f, that means it is the float value. If I want to take any float value from the user, then I also use percent %f here. For the case of scanf. In the case of character, percent %c is used to tell the compiler that I am going to display or the program is going to display a character on the screen. And here in the scanf, 
Parser C will tell the compiler that the user is going to produce or going to give an input of the type character. Now come here, that is data type range, length, and format. At first, come here, signed character, unsigned character. What does it mean? It means that this character or this character will take the value which range is between minus 1282 plus 127. The length is 1 byte or 8 bit and the format is percent %c. This is unsigned character. That means it will take 0 to 255 range value. This is signed character. Character AB is a signed character. The float AB is actually this. And this int is actually the short signed int. The range of the short signed is, is this. The length is 2 byte or 16 bit and the format is percent %d. This format is very important for the compiler to understand that what kind of value is going to display or take as an input. The short unsigned int, the range is this and the length is this and this is the format. If I want to write here short unsigned int, the full data type, then I have to use percent %u here. We reject the percent %d and use percent %u here. To tell the compiler that it is short unsigned int. Suppose this is long double, the range is this and the length is 10 bytes. If I write long double here, long double a comma b, then I have to use lf, capital L, small f here, to and here to tell the compiler that it is long double. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please visit my YouTube channel and subscribe.